guys are postmodern <laughs> <laughs> Afro homos. What I don't know. That. I don't know if we still are. I don't know if we still are. I think maybe we were. Well, one thing that has changed a bit is perhaps the face of AIDS. Mm. If I remember correctly, in the 90s, sure. it was um, like a gay, white disease in people's minds. In people's minds, in the public right. imagination. In the public imagination. Like gay men. And people weren't even, you know, the you know, place where people weren't even thinking of Africa uh, at that point in time, unfortunately. Um, yeah. But you knew but it the was face it, of the face, the face of AIDS now is, is people of color. That's but for you, it wasn't just white people no, affected it never was. in the 90s. No, right, never was. Never was. Right. It was Marlon Riggs and it was Essex Marlon Riggs and Essex Hemphill and Donald Woods and Asoto Saint and, and uh, many, many others. And Craig Harris, I'm sure. The images were overwhelmingly of white people. Right. So your show must have been groundbreaking in that regard also. Giving a different face to it. Oh, that's totally groundbreaking. That, yeah, yeah, that was sort of shocking. Right. We scared the white kids. <laughs> Just, I mean, they were, we, they were. It's interesting. The white gay male community uh, really got very nervous when we started doing the show. It wasn't about them. I think that, and I, then I think when people started coming to it, then they kind of got mad that it wasn't about them. So. We used to get some write-ups in the gay papers that just trashed us, trashed the shows, written by white gay men. So then we said, okay. The energy of that time was sort of uh, in response to just feeling, you know, the presence of, of death uh, all around us, like how how do we fight this? How do we was like, I gotta make this art or die. You know, it's like a war. You know, often great great art often comes out of moments of great conflict mm -hmm. and social uh, upheaval. And that was definitely a moment of extreme uh, conflict and social upheaval. Well, it doesn't get much closer to home.